Back in 1989, I wasn't long married and we felt that we would have to try and uh, do something else. There wasn't enough of income on the family farm for two families with my mother and father as well. So we felt we had to diversify and we decided that we would open up a small barn, renovate a small existing barn which we had in the yard and then sell fruit and vegetables and then gradually try and one day be able to sell our own beef from the farm. We put a small butchery in, killed our first animal and boned it out and it lasted probably two or three weeks and gradually built up and built up and now we're killing seven, eight, nine cattle per week. You're in full control of it. You have to start with the right animal and you start with the right breed and then how they're looked after, how they're fed, how they're managed right through. I think it's, it's the whole right from the very start until the end. That's how the beef's hung, how it's matured afterwards. You know, it's just as important as how the animal was fed and looked after. Um, you know, I can finish the cattle the way I want them to be finished. Whenever I want nice marbled steaks in the counter, I know when to physically take those cattle out and kill them for the, for the job. We are producing beef and I can see it going right through to the end product. I can actually see customers sitting at the table enjoying one of our steaks and coming to me and saying that steak was beautiful. And that gives me a buzz because you can ask customers what they're looking for, or, you know, what they want, and then you know what to produce for them. Customers come to me and say, look, can, can you do this or can you do that? Or why can't you do this? You know, and you can explain to them, that's the reason why. You know, people, a lot of people don't really understand what goes into farming, what goes into producing food. It is nice to have that interaction with the customers you know it means a lot and it's something that we never thought we would have